So uh, for me, it's uh, a book by Howard Marks called The Most Important Thing. Um, Marx is a big value investor, uh, despite the fact that his name kind of sounds like Karl Marx. And even as a growth investor, <laughs> spelled I, differently, by the way, right, right, it's and not with a Russian or German accent. <laughs> right. um, but even as a growth investor personally, I found that it influenced me a great deal. Um, and and there are two particular points I'd like to draw out from the book. One is that he talks a lot about uh, the inherent cyclicality. Of the market, so you will have uh, bull markets where people become convinced that things are always going to go up, and you will have bear markets where people become convinced that things are always going to go down, and they inevitably feed into each other uh, because a handful of people then realize, well, it's not always going to go down, and a few people, you know, on the flip side, realize it's not always going to go up, um, and and so I, I would encourage people whenever you hear, oh, this is the new reality, uh, be skeptical uh, because often that is actually. Um, what Marx refers to as the third phase of the market, whichever it is, bull or bear. Um, so that's something to consider when, when, when people say, oh, oil prices are always going to be at you know, $5 a barrel, or, or tech stocks are always going to be amazing. You know, that's maybe a time to, to get a little bit skeptical about that long-term thesis. Um, the second piece is, he talks about three words that are the most beautiful words um, in the world if you're on the other side of the transaction. I'm quoting directly from page 114. And those words are, regardless of price. Uh, and this is one of the reasons that so many mutual funds underperform the market, is because um, their investors will pull out when they begin to underperform their benchmark or their index or the S&P 500, or when they just go down. And that then forces them to sell assets at any price. They must sell those assets right then. And if you're on the other side of that trade, that's a nice opportunity for you. And um, and that also, you know, explains why you've got these really brilliant minds who consistently, nonetheless, underperform their benchmarks, and that's often because um, the the fear of their um, the fear of the market is magnified by all the people then pulling their money out of that mutual fund. So, two two thoughts for you from the most important thing. Um, I actually did a survey of the investors at the Motley Fool, the analyst advisor, and sent an email and said, "Send me your favorite investing books." And this book was actually among the top five. So oh, you are you are in it, good company. Oh, good, good to know. 